Imagine a diamond hidden in the vastness of space, glinting faintly but bursting with potential mysteries. This isn't a tale of fiction, but a real story that began in 1999. Scientists, peering through their telescopes, stumbled upon a hidden cosmic gem some 40 light-years away from Earth. TRAPPIST-1, a humble red dwarf star. At first glance, it seemed like just another star among countless others in our galaxy. Little did they know, they had discovered a gateway to a planetary system unlike any other. 17 years later, our telescopes revealed something extraordinary. TRAPPIST-1 wasn't alone. It was orbited by several planets, each holding secrets of their own. By 2017, the count of these celestial companions grew to seven, all rocky, each strikingly similar in mass and size to our home planet. The discovery sent ripples through the scientific community, raising tantalizing questions about the possibility of life beyond Earth. Today, TRAPPIST-1 stands as the most studied planetary system beyond our own. Its seven worlds, with their rocky compositions and potential for holding water, capture the imagination and curiosity of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. The advent of the James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized our ability to explore these distant worlds, bringing us closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? How habitable is the TRAPPIST-1 system? What would it be like to live on one of its enigmatic worlds? We are going to be answering those and other questions in today's video, as we explore the possibilities the system holds for the future of space exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was built with an ambitious goal, to peer into the early universe, back when the first galaxies and stars were forming. However, its true prowess lies in its ability to analyze atmospheres around distant exoplanets. With its advanced instruments, the near-infrared spectrograph and the mid-infrared instrument, JWST can measure a spectrum of light emitted by faraway celestial bodies, helping scientists identify the composition and temperatures of these planets and their atmospheres. But studying the TRAPPIST-1 system presents unique challenges. TRAPPIST-1 is an M-type red dwarf, the most prevalent and active stars in our galaxy. These stars emit powerful flares several times a day, making it difficult for scientists to distinguish between ordinary light and stellar radiation caused by these flares. Observing an exoplanet's atmosphere requires capturing light as it passes through the atmosphere, a task complicated by the frequent flares of red dwarfs. Despite these challenges, the James Webb Space Telescope's unprecedented power makes it possible to study these distant worlds with remarkable precision. It can detect minute fluctuations in brightness, akin to discerning when four out of 10,000 light bulbs are switched off. This precision has led to fascinating discoveries about the TRAPPIST-1 system. Recent observations have shed light on the innermost planet, TRAPPIST-1b. This scorching hot rocky world is most likely a bare rock, with a blistering surface temperature of 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius. Its proximity to the parent star places it outside the habitable zone, much like Mercury in our solar system. TRAPPIST-1b's lack of a substantial atmosphere makes it an inhospitable world for life as we know it. Slightly farther out, another planet orbits the red dwarf, TRAPPIST-1c. Initially, scientists believed this planet was similar to Venus, with a thick, suffocating atmosphere. However, data from the James Webb Telescope revealed a different story. TRAPPIST-1c does not have a Venus-like atmosphere. Instead, its day-side temperatures are extremely hot, around 225 degrees Fahrenheit, or 107 degrees Celsius, making it the coldest rocky planet ever studied using this new method. In such harsh conditions, any water that might have existed would have evaporated long ago. If you're liking the video so far, you should consider subscribing to the channel and help us create better content and reach more explorers out there. Now back to the video. But the story doesn't end there. According to recent studies, the rest of the TRAPPIST-1 system might have stayed cold enough for water to remain, either in liquid or frozen form. This tantalizing possibility suggests that while TRAPPIST-1b and TRAPPIST-1c 
may be too harsh for life, the other planets in the system could harbor the conditions necessary for life to thrive. TRAPPIST-1D, the lightest of the planets in this fascinating system, has captured the interest of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. With just 30% of Earth's mass, and a radius about 80% that of our planet, TRAPPIST-1D is intriguing not only because of its size, but also because of its potential similarities to Earth. Its small mass suggests it likely lacks a dense atmosphere and an abundance of heavy elements, yet it shares a key feature with our home planet, the amount of solar radiation it receives from its star. Located on the inner edge of the habitable zone, TRAPPIST-1D's temperature, without any atmospheric effects, would hover around 48 degrees Fahrenheit, or 9 degrees Celsius. For comparison, Earth's surface temperature would be a frigid 0 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 17.5 degrees Celsius without the greenhouse effect. This similarity in solar radiation makes TRAPPIST-1D a prime candidate for habitability studies. One of the most exciting possibilities about TRAPPIST-1D is its potential to harbor water. Estimates suggest that this planet could have up to 250 times more water than Earth. However, the habitability of TRAPPIST-1D remains uncertain, hinging on several critical factors, including its albedo. Albedo, a measure of how much solar radiation a surface reflects, plays a crucial role in determining a planet's climate, with values ranging from zero, complete absorption, to one, complete reflection. Earth's average albedo is 0.3. If TRAPPIST-1D has a similar albedo, it could reflect enough sunlight to avoid a runaway greenhouse effect, thereby maintaining a more stable climate conducive to some forms of life. Scientists believe that TRAPPIST-1D might be covered by a global ocean, a tantalizing prospect for the search for extraterrestrial life. However, for life to thrive, the planet would need a tidal heat flux 20 times stronger than Earth's. Tidal heat flux is a type of energy generated by gravitational interactions with nearby celestial objects, akin to geothermal heat on Earth, and could drive chemical reactions in the planet's vast ocean. Interestingly, on Earth, some forms of life derive energy from chemosynthesis rather than photosynthesis, thriving in environments devoid of sunlight. This raises the possibility that TRAPPIST-1D could support life forms that don't rely on sunlight. Additionally, if TRAPPIST-1D has a thin atmosphere, its twilight zone, the boundary between its night and day sides, might be habitable, offering a region with stable temperatures where life could potentially exist. Among the intriguing planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, TRAPPIST-1E stands out as the most promising candidate for potential habitability. Imagine a planet that shares striking similarities with Earth, not just in size, but also in composition and potential for life. Located in the habitable zone of its parent star, TRAPPIST-1E could very well be the cosmic twin we've been searching for. TRAPPIST-1E is dense and rocky, with a composition that might mirror our own planet. This density suggests a solid surface where future explorers could potentially set foot. More importantly, TRAPPIST-1E might possess a thick, oxygen-rich atmosphere. The light hydrogen gas, which is a greenhouse gas, could have escaped the planet's atmosphere over time, leaving behind an environment more suitable for life. If TRAPPIST-1E began with more water than Earth and Mars combined and managed to retain it, its climate could closely resemble the pleasant conditions we enjoy on Earth. This makes TRAPPIST-1E one of the most Earth-like planets ever discovered. Now, picture living on TRAPPIST-1E. A year on this planet lasts only about seven Earth days, turning our concept of time on its head. The notion of day and night also takes on a new meaning, as all seven planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system are tidally locked to their star. This means that one side of each planet is perpetually facing the star, while the other side is in constant darkness. On TRAPPIST-1E, you would experience a perpetual twilight, a never-ending sunset or sunrise, with the sky bathed in a reddish hue. In the sky, you'd see the other six planets, some appearing larger than our moon, creating a spectacular cosmic display. The day side of TRAPPIST-1E might even have regions where humans could thrive, with a climate far different from Earth's. Thick storm clouds could cover large areas, massive dust storms could help distribute heat across the planet, and strong winds, tornadoes, and hurricanes could be common occurrences. 
The night side of the planet, however, would be a harsh, cold place, dominated by towering glaciers and extreme cold. This side of the planet would be challenging even for the most adventurous explorers. Despite the challenges, the constant twilight offers a significant advantage. On Earth, our ancestors used the changing constellations to navigate. On TRAPPIST-1E, the nearby star would always be fixed in the sky, acting as a permanent guide, much like a giant, reliable North Star. Red dwarf stars, like the one TRAPPIST-1E orbits, are the most common type of star in our galaxy. These stars hold great promise as potential cradles for life, given their longevity, providing trillions of years for life to evolve. However, red dwarfs can be quite volatile, often emitting powerful solar flares. Interestingly, some scientists believe these flares could be beneficial for life. The energy from the flares might help kickstart the creation of essential molecules like amino acids, which are the building blocks of life. While high energy radiation from flares could also be harmful, possibly sterilizing a planet's surface or stripping away its atmosphere, it could provide the necessary energy for early forms of life to develop. TRAPPIST-1, fortunately, is a safer host star, with flares that are about 30 times milder than those from other red dwarfs. Yet, due to the tightly packed nature of the seven planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, these flares would still have significant effects. Auroras on TRAPPIST-1E would be nothing like those we know on Earth. Instead of being a beautiful, harmless light show, they would act as natural alarms, signaling incoming flares. Life on TRAPPIST-1E would require significant adaptation to survive these frequent solar flares. Humans would need an exponentially thicker ozone layer, a strong magnetosphere, and advanced technology to track and respond to these volatile solar events. Colonizers might construct specialized shelters resembling bunkers, equipped with shielding materials and advanced life support systems, to provide refuge during periods of intense space radiation. The gravity on TRAPPIST-1E is about 93% that of Earth, making movement and daily life fairly familiar. However, without proper shelter during solar flares, the radiation could cause severe health problems. Exposure could impair blood flow, damage DNA, and disrupt normal cell production, leading to critical health issues or mutations. Growing plants on TRAPPIST-1E would also be a challenge. The starlight reaches the planet's surface at a low angle, casting long shadows and limiting plant growth. To overcome this, future settlers might employ techniques similar to the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Imagine tiered planter boxes, each placed atop the other, allowing plants to catch sunlight from different angles. This method would maximize the limited sunlight, ensuring that even lower-level plants receive enough light to thrive. If TRAPPIST-1E has native flora, it might not need human intervention to thrive. Plants on this planet could have evolved to be entirely black, absorbing as much sunlight as possible. Some vegetation might even develop bioluminescence, emitting a soft glow to compensate for the lack of natural light, extending their growing hours and enhancing their chances of survival. Moving farther out from the star TRAPPIST-1, we encounter the intriguing world of TRAPPIST-1F. This planet receives only about a third of the sunlight Earth gets, resulting in a much cooler environment. If TRAPPIST-1F lacks an atmosphere, its surface temperature would plummet to around 74 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 59 degrees Celsius, freezing any water into ice. This chilling scenario extends to the two outermost planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, TRAPPIST-1G and TRAPPIST-1H. Although data indicates these planets are rich in water, their surfaces are likely encased in ice due to the frigid conditions. However, TRAPPIST-1G, with its 30% greater mass compared to Earth, might possess an atmosphere thick enough to retain some heat. If this planet has active volcanism, it could generate the greenhouse gases necessary to sustain an atmosphere, potentially making it a water world with vast oceans beneath its icy crust. If TRAPPIST-1G harbors a subsurface ocean, scientists speculate it could be an astounding 415 miles or 670 kilometers deep. To put this in perspective, Earth's average ocean depth is about 2.3 miles or 3.7 kilometers. This immense depth could provide a stable, insulated environment where exotic forms of life might thrive, protected from the harsh surface conditions. 
TRAPPIST-1H, the seventh planet, orbits even farther from the star, receiving minimal stellar radiation. If placed within our solar system, TRAPPIST-1H would orbit between Mars and Jupiter. Its surface temperature is estimated to be a frigid minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 100 degrees Celsius, making it one of the coldest known exoplanets. The TRAPPIST-1 star itself has been cooling for 7.6 billion years since its formation. The planets orbiting close to this aging star were once exposed to extreme heat. This intense heat should have vaporized any surface water, concentrating it in their atmospheres. Later, stellar winds likely stripped away much of this water vapor into space. However, recent advancements in modeling planetary atmospheres suggest a different story. Earlier theories proposed that heat escaped from a planet's surface through convection, similar to hot air rising and cold air falling. Yet, the behavior of gases in planetary atmospheres is more complex. Different altitudes and compositions can affect how heat is distributed and retained. Current research indicates that the TRAPPIST-1 planets may not have heated enough to turn their crusts and mantles into molten rock. This means that significant amounts of water could have remained trapped within the rocky layers, even as the star cooled. This trapped water might resurface as conditions on these planets evolve. Red dwarf stars like TRAPPIST-1 are known for their remarkable longevity, giving these seven worlds billions and even trillions of years to undergo countless stages of evolution. In time, the scorching and freezing environments we observe today might transform into more hospitable worlds, potentially teeming with life. The discovery of the TRAPPIST-1 system marks a monumental step in our quest to find habitable worlds beyond our solar system. With seven Earth-sized planets, three of which lie in the habitable zone, TRAPPIST-1 offers a unique opportunity to explore the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. Future missions and advanced technologies will continue to unravel the mysteries of these distant worlds, bringing us closer to answering the profound question, are we alone? If you found this exploration of the TRAPPIST-1 system fascinating, you won't want to miss this next video on the GLISA 667C system. Like TRAPPIST-1, GLISA 667C hosts multiple planets within its habitable zone, presenting another exciting frontier in the search for extraterrestrial life. What new mysteries is humanity going to uncover next? Leave it here in the comments and take the opportunity to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.